President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were noticeably absent from a commemoration ceremony remembering the 13 American soldiers who were killed in the Afghanistan exit in 2021. Former President Donald Trump, however, was there. He started off the morning honoring the 13 American soldiers who lost their lives in Afghanistan during the military pullout that President Biden ordered just three years ago. Trump blasted Biden, who did not attend the wreath-laying ceremony at Arlington Cemetery. Let's watch. Today, we had a uh, celebration of some great people, some great, great people who passed away, who were killed in the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country, Afghanistan, because we had an incompetent president with incompetent people leading it, and every one of those people should have been fired. He never fires anybody. Where is our president? We don't even have a president. We have a fascist person running who's incompetent, and we have a president who's not even around. He went to California for a vacation because they threw him essentially out of the party. So this is not the first time uh, Trump has accused uh, the Biden-Harris administration of complete incompetence in the pullout, which did result in the deaths of those American uh, soldiers who are remembered for their bravery and for serving their country. Um, Look, I... I think you, many people watching and in this country on both sides of the political spectrum understood that the continued American presence in Afghanistan was not doing them any good or us any good and did need to come to an end. That was something Donald Trump believed in as he set a timetable for the withdrawal of American troops. But when it actually came to pass, it was a rushed, chaotic, bungle that resulted in people getting killed and has come under extreme scrutiny, even from those who otherwise think that, yes, we did absolutely need to end our nation-building project in that country, in the Middle East more broadly, but not like that. Yeah. Do you guys all talk to each other and say, we're not going to call it the Biden administration anymore. We will only say Biden and Harris administration. Because it was like Kamala wasn't seen as that involved in not getting along with Joe Biden and excluded from meetings. And it was just Biden administration. But then as soon as she became the presumptive nominee, it was just Biden Harris administration, just in lockstep with that messaging, always naming both. Listen, if Donald Trump wants to run on the fact that Biden's operation to pull out of Afghanistan, a war that should have never been entered that Biden did not enter, uh, a war that's complicated by the CIA backing and funding the Mujahideen for many years that ended up becoming the Taliban. It's, It's a very hard and unstable situation there in Afghanistan. And sometimes the best thing to do is is to just leave. So if Trump had a better way to pull out of Afghanistan, my question is, why didn't he do it? Well, he created the conditions for the pullout, but then the pullout actually happened under Biden, Biden, under Biden Harris. Look, you want me to just call it the Biden administration? That's fine. I'll do that. If Kamala Harris explains what her views on that situation were, if she says, you know, I, I was against us getting out and I said we shouldn't have done that and no one listened to me, then fine. She doesn't have to own that policy. I think that would be fascinating to hear her actually criticize. The reason we're assuming continuity, assuming that she's in lockstep with what her boss was doing, is because she's not distinguished herself in any meaningful way from it, has not taken the opportunity to elucidate how her views might be different. And I'm just sick of Kamala Harris trying to have it both ways, of being both, like, the candidate of uh, being presented as the candidate of historic change, newness, something different, something bold, something progressive, while having been the vice president and ostensibly having co-signed the policies for the last four years. If she doesn't agree with them, she just wasn't listened to, okay, explain that to us. That might do her some good, actually, because a lot of those policies are very, very, very unpopular. Um, But I don't think she should get to have it both ways. I think that Donald Trump didn't do anything to prepare for the pullout of Afghanistan. The idea that he gave Biden a layup to pull out of Afghanistan, what did he do? I just, I don't know a single policy uh, plan he had, a single action he took as commander in chief that facilitated the pulling out of Afghanistan. If he thought it could be done in a smooth way, he should have done it. And so this idea that he's going to attend this, this, you know, ceremony three years after it happened to honor the soldiers and make a big deal that Biden's not there. 
Okay, Biden is the president. He's very busy. He can't be at every single ceremony there is. Neither can Harris. She's busy campaigning. Trump hasn't gone to every single honor uh, honorary ceremony for every single military operation that went badly in the country's history. It's very obvious he's going to this one so that he can remind everyone that pulling out of Afghanistan resulted in a, a, a huge media frenzy about how horrible it was when Really, there's no smooth way to end a never-ending war. I mean, you say he didn't do anything to prepare for the for the pullout. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure that's true. It was under Trump that they made the deal to get a substantial reduction in forces in 2020, and then a total removal of forces in 2021. So that would be under Biden, and so then that did end up happening. But you know, the way it happened. Look, if you want to take the position that it was always going to be messy, and that's what comes of American Empire, et cetera, I mean, fine. But that's not what Donald Trump's saying. Donald Trump is saying it could have been done differently, and there wouldn't have been lives lost. And uh, you know, I, as always, when he says, "Oh, if I was president, this never would have gone wrong," you know, fair. Don't believe him if you don't want to, or ask him, press him to explain in more detail. I think that would be better. I think it would be great for Donald Trump to do more interviews and to explain how his policies differ, especially on foreign policy. Well, you're saying that Russian invasion of, of Ukraine never would have happened. Well, why? Just because. Putin's afraid to cross you or Hamas is afraid to cross you or the Taliban or whoever it is, then fine. Maybe it's true. I don't know. He can explain it in more detail. I think that would be beneficial. I also think it would be beneficial for Kamala Harris to explain where her points of disagreement with the Biden administration, if there are any, were for the last several years. And then she doesn't have to have to be responsible for them, I guess. But she wants uh, she wants to keep it vague. They both want to keep it vague, <laughs> frankly. They don't. They both don't want to be you know held accountable for things that have gone wrong. Serious questions the American people have that are going to make them actually take sides in some important high stakes political arguments, discussions. They want to just you know not answer specific questions and just rally their base. I guess whether whether that's you know the MAGA people on the right side or mainstream elite forces on the progressive side that are just going to increase, I think, let them get away with anything. I think it's a lot easier for Donald Trump to be in his first term and say, you know what, we have a plan to pull out. It's just going to happen after re-election uh, so that it can't jeopardize my chances of getting re-election and being held against me. He did that because he knew it would be messy and he knew it would become a point of contention during a political campaign. So listen, he, he might have mapped out a plan for this to happen in 2021, but he absolutely did that for political reasons. It would be messy if it happened in 2020 before his presidency ended or if it happened in 2021 and Biden was the president. He's making all of these political moves and, and really trying to play the public against you know the information that they've been presented by the media and by him. But I think people are smart enough to realize this pullout from Afghanistan was going to be messy no matter what. And Trump could have done it in 2020. And it's a part of his political campaign to ensure that positive things don't happen for Biden during an election year and negative things don't happen for him during an election year. Whereas instead, what the Biden administration has done is do the messy thing, because sometimes the messy thing is the right thing. And the American people want to end never ending wars. They want to have a COVID stimulus that prevents a recession and rebuilds America through the CHIPS Act and Infrastructure Act. They want action on immigration, even if it's done in a bipartisan way and it's not everything their party wants and it's imperfect and it could risk reelection. Trump is someone who stood in the way of things getting done for the American people. And if he wants to make a meal out of the Afghanistan thing, he can. But I just really, for the reasons I said, don't see it landing with the American people. Hmm. More rising right after this.